back row, Ministry of the World, but man, Mr. Baki coming back at you live and direct. Tariff Wars. Tariff Wars. You thought Call of Duty was bad. It's got nothing going. Tariff Wars. So if you've been um, paying attention to the media feeds, Donald Trump and the Canadians are playing Tariff Wars placing high taxes on aluminum. Now the aluminum and steel debate comes back. So if we're going to purchase aluminum and steel from these countries, then um, there's going to be a large tax basically placed on all imported items. Anything we import, we're going to put a tax on the country who sends it to us. And we're playing tariff wars at these times. So this is the beginning of the destabilization of the economy. Um, Trump also attacked certain members of the European Union, making their, them his enemies to date with these tariff wars. And I'm going to tax these people at 25 and 30 percent. Remember now, most of your auto parts come out of Mexico and Canada. Most of your aluminum comes out of Canada. A lot of the stuff we get comes out of Canada. That's our, our biggest, we import more stuff from them in Mexico than anybody. So another thing that we import highly from the Canadians is gasoline. I'm not talking about oil, I'm talking about refined gas. That's where we get most of our refined gas is from Canada. So these tariffs, of course, are going to be the justifications, the part of the script that justifies why gas prices are so high. A lot of people don't know we get the majority of our gas from Canada. So now we get these justifications as we see gas prices steadily rising for the summer. They jack them up for the summer, for the summertime. A lot more people are driving now than flying, but flying is so damn expensive that people aren't going to waste time getting in the damn plane. So. Okay, their, their, their solution, where if they're going to drive, we'll just jack up the price of gasoline for the summer. It might come down by the fall, but as we move closer to World War, we'll see a lot of things, especially prices for certain things, especially oil, anything for transportation, kind of skyrocket up, begin that um, rapid increase. But the Canadians now are in on the script, playing their part. With the tariff wars, uh, we saw tariffs on Mexico. We'll see uh, more tariffs from Trump as um, we begin to isolate and become more and more isolated in the world. And as we begin to really lose support financially from other countries in the world, because now other countries are like you know the script is you know Trump's an idiot keeps raising tariffs. You want to play tariff wars with our neighbors, which is going to make things hard under this false pretense that America first can save America. That's stupid. The world has always been governed by trade. Once again, the world has always been governed by trade. This idea that you can pretty much fund yourself is foolishness. It doesn't work like that. You gotta have out so you got got to be able to export your goods. You got to be able to import. You got to be able to trade. That's what gives the dollar bill um, value. If we just pretty much bought stuff from ourselves, our money would be worthless because it's not seen or spent throughout the world. Right now, the euro is still more more um, powerful than the dollar. It has more value than the dollar because more people spend euros. We're talking about the majority of the world right now. Somebody, you got euros. They go to more places. Whole thing with Cuba. People in Europe still go to Cuba for vacation. So that's euros being spent in Cuba. Those, those Cubans can take those euros pretty much everywhere because the euro has more value than the dollar. That'd be some fool, foolish American who think, there ain't nothing more valuable than a dollar. You're a fool. Remember, Britain's been around a long, a lot longer than America, and they don't think like us, stupidly. So, this this whole thing is the destabilization of our economy. They start off with something as stupid as aluminum and steel. He should be going after the Chinese. They're saying, as far as the aluminum war, because China makes so much aluminum and kind of they kind of had a market corner. But he's not going to do that because you know he's not stupid enough to go after the Chinese. He's got businesses over there. 
So that's what the script is that, you know, people really need to start following with Trump. All this, well, Trump's an idiot, Trump is this, Trump. Trump is just doing what he's told to do. He's just following the script he was told to follow. And in the script to start the world war, isolation of America. He'll make us one of the most hated countries in the world. Now the Canadians don't want to deal with us. The Mexicans are pissed because we're talking about building a wall. And you got stupid Americans who think that all this stupidity is a great idea. Why all the time is just the script to isolate the country. That's all. The country becomes more and more isolated every time these decisions are made. We cannot survive by ourselves. Don't think for one minute that America can survive. This is a young country. This country really is not that old. So we're going up against dynasties. We're going up against some dynasties. Remember, the Canadians are backed by the Francais. If it wasn't for the Francais, there would be no America. And that's how you know this is bullshit. Every five minutes, we kissing French ass. So now we're at war with, with the people who founded our country. Bullshit. The French, the Americans, the British, their job at this time is to bring in the world one world economy. And they'll do that by destabilizing one of the biggest spenders in the world, which is America. We spend the most, we buy the most. So destabilize America, destabilize our economy. You'll see another stock market crash coming soon and begin this whole thing of pushing towards this one world economy, but that'll be after world war, after we have a large, massive war, a lot of casualties, and then we have to put everything back together. But Trump is playing and playing the cards he's supposed to play at this time by destabilizing the financial system with all these stupid tariffs that the hillbilly in the country thinks that this is a great idea, but he don't know no better. Steel mills ain't coming back no time soon. The aluminum industry is picking up, but a lot of people ain't working in the, alum in the, in the aluminum jobs. Now you're gonna ice, you're gonna piss off the people who make the car parts. Gas prices shooting up because they want to begin weaning us out of out of fuel-driven vehicles and into hybrids. You'll see more and more hybrids begin to hit the road because they're slowly but surely trying to push us out of the fuel-driven vehicles into the new technology, which is the hybrids, which is electric cars, which soon will push you into nuclear power cars. We're slowly moving into these into these new trends. So just watch the script, pay attention. Don't let the tariff foolishness get to you. Uh, there won't be a shortage in aluminum foil anytime soon because the Chinese make more aluminum than what they know to do with. So it's all a bunch of scripted foolishness, but watch the stock market. That's why I tell people, do not put your money in the stock market. It's a high, all it is high price gambling. When that stock market crashes, it takes people's savings along with it. Remember when they um, were trying to put give people their Social Security money and have us put Social Security into the stock market? Think about how many people during the last two crashes would have lost their money. And they would have justified that. They would have justified because they keep trying to act like Social Security money is their money. It's not. It's our money. They rip us off. The debt ceiling is about us. It's not about other countries. They owe Amer the American people more than any other country in the world because every time they borrow money, they're borrowing from you and I. We give them the money. We fund Social Security. They take the money out of Social Security. They take the money out of Medicaid because you do pay for Medicare. Every time, if you look at your check, you've been working for 20, 30 years, any company you work for, they take out money for, med for medical needs. Then all of a sudden, when you get 65, they try to charge you all this money for Medicare. <laughs> You've been paying for that for about 30, 40 years. <clears throat> but there'll be some fool that goes back and tell you how great America is, how wonderful it is. And, you know, it's all right if you get screwed over every day by your own people. There's nothing wrong with that. This is the greatest country in the world. Nothing wrong with being screwed over. Wake up and look at what's going on. That's all these videos is about. That's what the true community, we do it in, in various ways. But we try to get people to wake up to see what's going on. Look at the things that are around you. Begin to read some of this stuff. Do some research on tariffs. The impact of a tariff. Why is this such a big deal? Everything they do is going to affect you, the American consumer, in one way, or shape, form, or fashion. So we know Canada... We get all the refined gasoline from them. 
gas prices keep shooting up, now they can blame Canada for it. They don't have to say, oh, it's because the price of oil went up. It's because the Canadians are pissed. You know, just a part of the script to kind of destabilize the economy. And we'll see the stock market probably crash coming up a little bit soon. Mr. Mockley, Background Ministry, peace.